Hello, Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, this is quite interesting and different, and uh, yeah, I'll explain it all in a minute. But welcome. Sorry, I had to delay a little bit. Uh, glad you're all. Everyone's here. Um, hopefully, people will start turning up in a minute. But yeah, uh, this is like a new little setup we've got going. Um, so the Plastic Crap Podcast on a on a Monday night. So I am just testing it out right now so this is a test for me and a, a test to see what you guys uh, seem to think of it so this video will be live afterwards on the youtube channel um but yes so welcome i'll give it a minute or so for people to join but i'm just setting up the model cam now so get a little close-up of any models and things like that so let's do that now cool all right Oh, we're getting a few people now, so I'll start. Right, so again, hello. Lovely to see you all here. Uh, hopefully, I might have possibly Martin joining, very possibly. Um, not too sure, but you never know. Hopefully, he will. Right. Right. Okay, get rid of that. Cool. Happy days. So, right, today's video well, video slash live stream slash... Da -da 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 -da. Um, basically, I'm going to go over my Christmas loot, what I got. And it's my birthday in... How many days is it? Five? About three days. Uh, sorry if you can hear that. It's the cat. I, I can't get her to I can't get her to leave. She just has to come and be nosy and be a pain in the ass. She hasn't been in here all day. But, of course, when I live stream, she wants to come in here and sit here. But, yes. Okay. As you can see here, got a cheeky little command base. Uh, just finished it today, and I've already snapped the lance. <laughs> I've got it over there. I'm going to have to pin it, which is going to be really painful. Um, I have actually pinned these lances before, so I know it can be done. I can use it like a paper clip sort of thing, and it will work. So I'll have to pin that. But apart from that, what do you guys think? I've got like a watery base here, so it's like resin, and um, it's out from the green stuff world. This is here, this resin, and it dries under either sunlight or it wears UV light. So you can use the sun uh, to dry it, or you can use like a nail sort of uh, thing, you know, that the, they got in the salons. But yeah, I think it's quite nice. This is going to be like my kernel for mainly probably for my French infantry, my first brigade. Ah, there's the flag there. I was looking for it, but it's on the floor. So handy. Don't know. Might look cool like that. But yeah. Um, how is everybody anyway? Um, because what I can do, which is really quite smart, is this. So Miller's put a Miller's put a comment, and I can flash it up like that. So this is quite cool. So happy new year! Going to be listening while I'm driving home. So thanks very much, Miller. He's he's on the drive home. Hopefully he's uh, getting home nice and safely. But yeah, like I say, this is um, this is the Colonel. And this took me a little while to do, I'm not going to lie. This has been sitting on my desk for probably about three or four weeks just of waiting to finish him off. Built up the base with some just like plaster, let that dry rock hard. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. That's uh, really, really happy with that one. But I also today, I'm going to show off some other miniatures. I got some Italians done, so skirmishers. Spot the odd one out in here. Okay. Spot the odd one out. I'll go through. So, Perry's. Oh, just trying to get this camera angle right. I'll get used to it soon. But Perry's. Uh, no backpack on this one because on the in the kit, the Perry's kit, it's the new new kit, the elite stuff. Um, I couldn't get a backpack to fit this guy properly. Uh, maybe I didn't follow the kit through properly because these were like the first ones I ever did. So. Napoleonic wise, I've just finished it off. So guy firing. It's going to be a skirmishing unit, obviously a unit of nine and some voltage voltages. So yeah, has anyone noticed yet? Because I definitely do. Got another comment. Happy New Year! Happy New Year to yourself. I watched your video earlier. Uh, really, really interesting uh, about the cannon and all that. It was, it was quite cool. Um, make sure you check out the YouTube channel. I can never pronounce that name. 
Grand Prague. Oh, I can't pronounce it. I'm just going to butcher it. But yes, that channel there. <laughs> Got a cool YouTube channel and does some really cool Napoleonics. But yeah, I'm happy with these guys. You know, they're like tabletop standard. Quite simple to do these Italians. Uh, the way I do them anyway, they are quite simple to do. Got a guy running here. Quite like this pose. But I'm going the same basin theme for the whole armies. So, so yeah. But there we go. That's some painted Italians. So I know you guys have come here for one thing. Did anyone spot the odd miniature? Because I will show you it now because it will just annoy you if you don't. All right, here's this one here. So this is from Offensive Miniatures. And uh, the body is anyway. And I believe it's a Peninsula War anyway, so it's the wrong period. But I've stuck a uh, Warlord's, was it Perry's? No, it's Perry's head on it, metal head. Um, chopped off the old one just so, you, uh, you know, I'm not going to be doing Peninsula. I'm not too fussed. I know some people wouldn't like that. Hey, the cat's gone on her bed at last. <laughs> oh, you're right, Cal. I've got to remember, they don't disappear after. So Carl's put, what did he miss? <laughs> I haven't unpacked it yet. I've just been showing off some miniatures. Um, but yeah, Carl's, uh, I've bought some stuff off Carl and he's uh, going to be doing that very shortly. But just move that out of the way. But I gather everyone can hear me okay. And um, the audio is coming through all right. Because if it's not, I've been talking to myself for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> so let's go through the Christmassy stuff. Okay, so the stuff I got from Christmas, then we'll do Carl's uh, package. So we shall start with Perry Miniatures. Okay. So I've got some lovely uh, elite company stuff. I'm just going to... See if I can lift this camera a bit more broad, just a bit higher. Sorry, it's all new. I'm trying to work it out. This is all for the podcast. So unprofessional of me. I can only apologise. All right, let's see if we can get that a bit better. Okay, right, let's turn that light off, see if that helps a little bit. Right. Okay, so Elite Companies Infantry from the Perrys. Um, I will open this and I'll show you a spur of each just to see what you, show you what you get in the box. Laura, Laura has been very good to me. Uh, JT War Games. Happy New Year, Ken. Listen to the Christmas uh, special plastic prep because those will do solo flames of war. Uh, hope you are well. I am great, buddy. Uh, I hope you are well as well. And you had a good Christmas and a new year. So, Spruce, because it's a skirmish in this elite companies, it's going to really annoy me now because I've done those on square basis <laughs> from Warlords. Um, but the rest of them, I guess, I guess I could do my Italians in square, and then I'll do the rest in uh, uh, circular. But you get two different types, oh, three actually, three sprues, three different types of sprues in this. Let's try and get these out now. Elite, elite. Uh, there's the line, and there's the command. So you get enough to do forty minis. Okay, you get two sprues of their line. Okay, so there's enough to do five guys per sprue. So in total, we're looking at, just get rid of that. Hi, right, there we go. Cool, Tony Tigers put Happy New Year, Ken. Do Perry and Victrix blend well with Warlord? Yes, they do. And I'm going to be doing a video on that very shortly. Um, so yes. And Carl's put, sounds good. Video, vid quality is good. Use uh, StreamYard before works well. Yeah, yeah, it is working pretty well. So using the phone as well, which is even more helpful. So days, but yeah, five of these and uh, you can either have them in March, you know, or fire in pose, which I, or advance in pose, which I really like. And uh, these are going to probably be some of my Italians. Uh, Cause I've got a 
one battalion painted, skirmishing unit painted. I've got another battalion on the go over there, uh, their Perry as well. And I've got 10 guys here. And I'll explain a bit later what I'm going to be doing. But this really nice sprue, um, these elite company sprue, and they all slot together really nicely. I'll do them more justice because mold lines and things on those other miniatures I was just crazy with. This is the uh, this is the actual elite company. So if you get the battalion box, you get more of these, and you get only two of these, and it's the other way around basically in the elite company's box. This one here, this but this one's a little bugger. Um, I might be able to do something a bit better now, but to fill the gap in with that leg can sometimes be a bit annoying. But it's got basically got the guys in like advancing and firing poses. Uh, you can make these up as uh, voltigers, which is really nice. And they've got the nice big plumes on the top there, which I really like. Um, some of the Warlord kits only do really small ones, which is fine. But I like to show them off with the with the larger size. And you've got enough to here to do four, I think it's four Grenadiers as well. Yep. And there's also two heads there if you want to do some of the smaller plumes. Uh, but for these guys, this whole box basically is going to be skirmishing units for me. So I'm going to be doing like French skirmishing units with these. I'll probably do some more Italians and... Uh, probably some Swiss as well. So we'll go through all that uh, later on. But yeah, get that sprue. This is one of my favorite sprues you get out of that box. The command sprue from Perry. Uh, it's the uh, the newer command sprue. So with this, you get uh, the halberts there uh, for the Eagle Guard. Um, you also get Sapper, which is nice. You don't get that on the other command sprue from Perry's. Um, nice poses with the axe and bits and bobs but again with all peri kits as you well know there's loads of extra heads you can do lots of customizing with these um you don't get the extra six infantry which you do with the other command sprue which we'll see in a bit anyway but i prefer this sprue just because you get the sapper with it and uh, you also get the eagle guard as well which i really like so that's that box so that's one box down how many boxes have we got to go there is quite a lot here i'm not going to lie guys and that's without opening Mezzer's stuff. Some of it we can rush through because everyone's seen it before. So got some Warlord light infantry. And to go with all the all the infantry from the great coats and warlords I've got, it's unreal. But in here you get the uh, command, which is four for the command in here. They're all in metal. So the light infantry stuff, I'll tell you what's easier. I'll show you them painted up. So they do look better once you've painted them. And there we go. Let me just grab one. So this is one I painted. Just stick that mic back on a little bit. So that's one I've actually painted there. Uh, sorry if that looks a bit washed out. I'll try and turn. Okay. So that's one I've painted up. And they're just waiting basing. But you've got the metal officer in the middle. You've got another officer there. You've got the guy with the bugle there. I think that's a bugle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's good. And uh, obviously, you've got the uh, the actual eagle itself, which you can change this, which is quite nice. So if you're doing a second battalion, you don't have to have the eagle on top. They do an option where you just get these bits coming down, but you get both options. Obviously, this flag is from GMB. This isn't the Warlord flag. Um, but yeah, I am... Uh, pretty happy with that so move that out of the way okay in this box also you obviously get uh i've stuck on my uh, light infantry for stuff in here you get flags if you want to use flags from warlord so you've got the fanions there as well so you've got first second third and fourth battalion uh sorry fifth battalion um but yeah i've got loads of these now <laughs> which is really really weird uh but i do have as well that's the just a normal late line infantry stuff that warlord do you got flags there i just like like martin said the other day to me he goes once you go to those gmb flags you don't go back which is very true but in here you just got the same identical sprue there are four of them and you get six guys same as the uh late infantry box just here and um, nothing special um different about the light and the line infantry this uh, this later stage of the period um what i what i have been doing actually because i got also before christmas i'm really down a rabbit hole as uh people are saying i got um one of the starter armies so i've got a load of these guys already in the great coats and um yeah 
<laughs> I think I've got enough great coats now uh, to do me for quite some time. But they are really quick to paint up. So there's that one. I'll try and get through these a bit quicker because, again, like I said, I've got quite a few. And um, let's go back to Perry's anyway. We've got some boxes here. We have FN1. Okay. Because everyone was shouting at me for not having Napoleon. <laughs> so I got Boney with his table, with Ney and all that in the metal. I shall show you these individually. So that's the top of the table. Try not to shine it too much. That's the, top of the table. One of these is Ney. I need to work out which one. I think it's that day. There's Ney. I'm pretty sure it's Ney. But yeah, the sculpts on these. Amazing, as per usual from the Perrys. Would you expect anything less than perfection? Because I sure wouldn't. So let's just see that. Sorry again with the light. Might be better like that. So yeah. So that was FM1. So Laura's been very nice. Very, very nice indeed. So let's go FM3. Okay, so these are, I believe, aide de comps. That miniature looks awesome. Just like, you know, just really nice. Just one cast, that is, as well. It's even cooler. So you can use them as, like, uh, generals, or I could just use them as aide de comps, which I probably will end up doing. You know, you've got your horse sculpts here. It's all metal. you got two more there. Unique, looking awesome as usual. And then you've got your two others in here. And again, there's Perry's, there's more spares. So you've got these, actually, might be the Colonel's Tell a Lie. Um, but yeah, looking awesome. I've got FM 106, which is cannon for the old guard. So, yes, I've done a brigade of old guard. Again, just getting these cannons. I've not got any metal cannons at the minute, I've only got plastic. So, seeing this was quite interesting because obviously I. I was magnetizing my Victrix ones. Um, I've seen a few different websites as well where I could do other bits and bobs and um, maybe try and magnetize this and, you know, put a lighter caliber on it because this is a 12-pounder on there. Big old 12-pounder, that is. But I'll tell you what I do need to do, guys, is I don't know if anyone else does this. Is With metal miniatures, obviously, you still get the mold lines and the casting. What's the best way to get that off? Because I've been... Um, you know, I've been trying to scrape it off and stuff like that, but I still don't think it, it goes right. I don't know if a bit of wire wool would be any good. Not too sure. Um, but yeah, if you guys could let me know, that'd be that'd be wicked. Uh Lee Fisher's put my first ever live video and I'm being dragged into a rabbit hole. Serves me right for finishing work early. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I apologize, but this is uh FN ninety eight. Okay. So again, I think. Oh wow, these are actual named character. I completely forgot about getting these. These are colonels, I think. They've all got they've all got names. So that one says Christian son or something. Uh, you guys will know better than me at this. That says Michael, and that says. Canberra, uh, yeah, you guys will know better than me. You, you'll be able to tell what they are straight off the bat. So, yeah. But again, more unique horses. I do love the Perry's horses. They are absolutely incredible. Just so good. So much detail on them.
Carl's put uh, Lee put uh, careful metal filings in. Carl's put I use metal files to get them off clippers with sharp flat edges. Okay, um, I shall need to invest in some files then because I really don't. I really want to do this justice. And this is FM one hundred and five, and it's again, it's another um, old guard cannon, twelve pounder again. I'm not going to bother getting this one out because it's just. It's the same as the other one, apart from it's in a different pose with the guy. So I think this one is loading and the other one was firing. So that's that. Okay, we're still not done. We're not anywhere near being done. Okay. All right, next thing. <laughs> More bloody berries. <laughs> this time, this is the original uh, French Napoleonic line set from 1812 to 1815. So the other one goes to 1814 because there's no great coats in it. So with this one, you get get a couple of flags. So you get the 55th and the 19th line. I find these flags are a little bit too small. Um, they're good if you just want to, you know, do what you want to do. But for me, they're, they're, they're a bit too small. But you've got your command. It tells you, like, fusiliers of Swiss here. So drummers, grenadiers. You know, then you've got some French uh, light infantry. You've got some chasseurs there. Um, you know, looks quite cool. So, just gives you a little bit of history. Looking at it now, though, guys, honestly, I didn't even realise how much is here. Oh my god, what have I done? Is all I can say to that. Been off my head, I think. But let's go with this. And sprues you get, I won't be using these um, just because I base all mine on 60 by 40 mils, which I get from wall bases, but they're free anyway. I'm sure I'll keep them and uh, I can make, I think they're kind of like 60 by 40 if you put them two together. I think it's about five minutes. But you get that sprue there and there's a couple more sprues in here. So you get one of these, the command. Yep. So here's the command sprue. Got one, two, three guys here. So you've got a guy holding the uh, the eagle, which is just there. You got officer. You got a drummer, and you got two guys in great coats there. You've got a guy that's firing. So are you? He's over here. Where is he? He's over. He's one of these guys bent over here. So he's like that Italian, just like that Italian there. Same same model, same pose, and. Um, you got another guy that's firing up here. You've got another great coat just down here. And then you've got six uh, miniatures just there. So that's the six minis I was talking about. I prefer the other command sprue. But this one's pretty cool because you also get some casualty heads. Um, it is pretty nice. But then you get your standard infantry sprues. So you've got five on this side and you've got six on this side. So same six there, different, different three there. Um, and you also get to keep the extra drums in there. Um, so if you want to use them as like scatter and bits and bobs go on some bases and you also get all the heads again to look for casualties um, and exactly the same there. So that's that's another load of guys. Right. We are we we will be moving on the Sun and Gales in a minute, I do promise. But I, before we move away from the Perrys, um I've got two boxes of this. So French heavy cavalry. Okay. So I need to do a heavy cavalry troop. So inside, I will actually be using some of these flags from the Perrys. And um, I'm going to do one in chasseurs, um, one in cup. I can't pronounce that. I just want to say spaghetti alla carbonara every time. <laughs> but it's not. Uh, but yeah, I want to do that. I want to do one of each. But it gives you a paint scheme for both on either side. But you've also got... Um, Oh, what's it called? There's uniforms uh, website where I go to get like what I how I paint my guys. So I use that. But that's the bit of text you get with it. And of course, everyone wants to see the sprues because the sprues are sprues and the sprues are awesome. All right. So that's the box. So you've got in here enough to make God, how many individual sprues have we got? I've not actually seen these guys, so this is all new to me. Let me just move them out of the way. So you've got the swords there, got a bugler there. So I'm looking for like 
that's like command sprue, isn't it? But you get the bugler on each one, I think. So swords again. Um, same again, but you've got different heads. So it looks like you can make them up um, both both types there. And then you've got what looks like, yeah. So that, that's a cavalry sprue. So it's got, still got some guys just here. You've also got enough to do the horses there. And then you've got three of those identical. So there's three different types of sprue in here. There's enough to make 14, I believe. And um, again, I'll probably, if needs be, end up using these bases. So I've used them a couple of times. Uh, but for the cavalry, I've got some 50 by 50s on the way ordered for those. But these French are just going to be the death of me, I feel. I definitely feel like they are going to be the absolute death. But there was two boxes of that. Oh, we're still going. Okay, we're moving on. Big tricks. Right. Got a few things to say about this. One, I'm really happy I got them. <laughs> um, and two, if you uh, – it's an interesting one, right? Because if you want to do old guard, okay, or if you want to do young guard or middle guard, I'd suggest getting this Napoleonic Imperial Guard box here, the middle guard. Don't get the uh, the Grenadier box. And I'll tell you why in a second. So the Grenadier box here. Still got one on here. Yeah. So the Grenadier box. You get the same sprues apart from these three guys here, right? I, I can't see the drummer, but there's a drummer there and he is different. So you get a different officer and a different standard bearer here. So the eagle bearer, sorry. Um, they're different on the Grenadier sprue. But apart from that, the sprue is exactly the same. Okay. So I will show you now. So if you look here on middle guard. Okay. Hopefully you can see that all right. Middle guard, it's a different guy. Okay. Um, got a different drummer, a different officer, and uh, yeah, a different... Um, Eagle bearer. But what you can do is you can just chop the heads off of the grenadier ones if you've got some left over and stick some of the uh, the other heads on. But the spur is exactly the same. I've looked over both and I can't I can't see a difference. And yeah, it, it make it makes sense that you know it it, it wouldn't be the same. But like I say, the only difference there you got sword. So this section here looks the same, but you still get all these grenadier heads, which is really handy. So you get enough to do. All the grenadiers but with this kit it's 5p cheaper and you also get the middle guard heads so you get enough to do 60 of these but you could technically use these for a young guard as well if you want to take the time and try and get the mustaches off um or you can just say they're young guard um it depends it depends what you want to do but i would get this kit even if I was doing grenadiers, because you get these free heads, and these free heads are quite handy. So there's not many places you can get like middle guard heads because they've got some really nice eagles on and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's the Victrix stuff, guys. That was Victrix. So that's another 60 miniatures. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how long it's going to take me to uh, actually complete. But I've got two boxes of that. Then my brother, being a nice bloke that he is, bought me a bloody Panzer free. <laughs> <laughs> for bolt action oh my god i'm gonna i've just got too much i'm not gonna bother opening this one up because i'm not gonna get to this for a long time yet um it's gonna probably be at least six months to a year before i before i open that up i think unless i get a real world war ii bug uh but one more thing i got for for christmas she spent too much she definitely spent too much Ugh. This is actually from um, my brother-in-law, actually. Got me these. And there is a cheeky little giveaway as well. I'm going to do in a couple of weeks, and I'll show you what. They sent him two extras. So they sent him a Doc Rowe, um, and they also sent him a Harry Welsh and, oh, God, I can't remember his name. But they're, they're from Bland Brothers, obviously. And I've got two extra of these, so these will be part of a giveaway um, coming up very shortly. So... They're going to one side for a minute. But I got obviously Doc Row, um Ball Randleman, just here. Uh 
Who else do we go for? We've got Carwood Lipton and oh God. I'm trying to remember. But Compton's in here. I've already got Dick Winters already. Um, and there's one more lieutenant. I can't remember his name. Oh no, Bill Garnier is in here. Sorry, there's Bill Garnier as well. And obviously uh, Harry Welsh and um I can't remember his name. It's really gonna bug the hell out of me, but I got I got enough to do the Band of Brothers basically. Yeah. So they're all part of the World War Two stuff. So that is everything I got for Christmas. Which I think again is is bloody too much. But that was nice of Laura to actually do that this year because it's been a bit of a bit of a crap year, as everyone agree. And now I'm absolutely dreading opening this from Mesa. Oh my god, it weighs a bloody ton. Right. So I remember to uh paint out my thing, but I thought I'd leave 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 the French back on there. Cheers for that, mate. I hope there's nothing in here on tour because as you can see, I haven't opened this yet. Um so I hope what you what I I bought is uh is the only thing in here. <laughs> oh, no. I'm absolutely dreading it. I know there's some nice stuff in it, that's all I can say. Mez is probably like, oh, you've opened it now, mate. You, you know, that's it. Do I really want to even look in here? Oh, yeah. No, we're looking good. Looking professional. Oh, my God. That's a lot of cavalry, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. No. Right, I'm going to put it on the floor because it's just too much in there and I'll bring it out one by one. So, you know, there's two boxes of French heavy cavalry I got. There's a third box. <sighs> what have I done? What have I done? Honestly, what have I done? Oh, my God. And then, oh, no. There's two boxes of these. Chasse Cheval. <laughs> What have I done? Uh, uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. What have I done? Carl's pit. Was it? <laughs> Paint the trick on the trick off. <laughs> yeah, for French cavalry. Yeah, for cavalry for French. Yeah. Oh, man. Right. I've not seen in this side this chasseur cheval set yet. So let's go. Right. Oh my god, what is in here? Okay. Oh, okay. Have you stuck what I think you've done? Have you stuck the Avon Post stuff in box? I suspect that's what you might have done. Right, I'll put that over there for the minute. We'll come we'll come to that in a minute, but unless it comes with that, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know, Carl. But okay, so I've got some of the warlord ones of these, and um, yeah, these definitely look a little bit more detailed. I'm not gonna lie, but they look like they're individual sprues, so there should be enough to do 14. So I'm just trying to see if I can find a command sprue, which I've probably got in my hand now, possibly. But one of these is definitely a command sprue. They do look pretty cool. I'm going to probably do some of these in Italians. Um, not too sure yet, but yeah, they look pretty bloody awesome, to be honest. A load of horses as well. Um, the 14 horses are there. Yeah, that bottom one must be the command sprue. Must be missing something. Yeah, there's the bugler there. Okay, so there's the bugler and the officers on there as well. Okay, so that's, that's the command sprue. So, again, we'll be keeping those. I probably won't be using them. So, Hazars. So, this, yeah, Hazars and Regiments of the Chasseur Cheval. Okay. I've not actually seen this. This is uh, pretty interesting, to be honest. There's quite a lot in there. Any flags? Do they have? You guys will probably know this. They probably don't carry their flags in. But again, you can't. 
flaunt Perry's for what they do with this stuff is uh, it's absolutely awesome, isn't it? They do some lovely, lovely stuff like that. God, I can't believe it. All right, okay, so that's two boxes of those. Right, so next, Avon Post Cavalry. Uh, these are Dragoons from Avon Post, which I'm really, really looking forward to. So that's more cavalry again. I put some in each box. He's put uh I put some in each box and keep it safe for postage so they didn't come with the Perry. Yeah, I was gonna say that'd be too good, would it? I was like, what's this? Uh JT's put this isn't fair. You got all the war game stuff for Christmas, and all I got from the missus was indigestion from overcooked turkey. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's class. I love that. All right, so this is Avon Post. Oh, man, they do look good, don't they? I know it sounds... They're really, I, can, I can feel a bit of the residue, like the resin stuff. Oh, mate. Oh, that is so nice. I'll show you these up in a minute in, in close-up, but... Oh my good god, they are so nicely done. Oh Christ. Just drop one of the bloody guys on the floor. I'll go down there in a minute. <laughs> Get him after the stream, but I don't want to be standing on that. These are pretty expensive, if I remember right. I think they're like four quid each or something like that. But you can see why, because look at the detail on that. You probably still can't even see it because the bloody lights and shining like an absolute mofo. I'm not too sure what the quality is like your end, but it's just awesome. Just absolutely wicked. Quality is like really nice. That's better. I can see a bit better now. But yeah, no, the quality on that is so good. There we go. So I'm getting the hang of this. Getting the hang of this. Nah, no, that's that's awesome. And you've got all the individual bits, like the tail and stuff. They're going to be a bit of work, don't get me wrong, but I think they're going to look absolutely amazing. Um, and again, that's not even all of it yet. I've still got a load more. Oh, God. I can't even remember how much it, what, what all this is. Oh, this, these are the bag of dragoons. Okay, so I've got a bag of dragoons here. Dismount dragoons. So for the guys, the dragoons. I don't know what company these are. I, I, I can't even remember what you said, mate, to be honest with you. Um, all I know is for metal sculpts, they look really nice. Again, there's so much detail on these. These are going to be really nice to paint i think um I'm, i always dread painting metal minis because they chip while i'm painting them for some reason i don't know if anyone's got any tricks i don't know whether i should just do like a base coat then varnish it and then paint over it what do you guys think is that probably the better way to go but i think there's like 30 odd guys in here but there's quite a lot in there. Oh, Brigade, Brigade Games dismounted. Oh, thanks, mate. Cheers. These Brigade Games. They do look really nice. Again, there's just loads in there. Stupid amount. <sighs> then, I'm not even going to open these, but this is another bag of uh, my favourite um, French and great, and great coats again. Yay. <laughs> um bit it's like bits here so like leftover bits it looks like there's some stuff from warlord there is a cannon in here as well so that's a third metal cannon uh cannon mate what was the cannon was it um it just looks like a six pounder but who was it for is um is it just normal line cannon or are we talking guard i could make it a guard cannon i guess if i wanted to ah uh, yeah i was looking for these aha these are the ones did one these so looks like just normal cannon but 
in here. Probably a cut. There's probably a couple more in the others, but basically, show you one here up close. These are the Warlord Engineers. So I wanted these as well because they're quite a nice little unique unit. So I wanted those. That's uh, really nice. But yeah, there's just so much, so much stuff in there. You've got a cannon in there as well, and you've got some rifles. But cannons already together. Cheers, mate. <laughs> it's a per it's a Perry cannon. Mick Gaines for impressive live broadcast. Looks like the five o'clock news. Well done. This well, this is the new plastic crap podcast theme. This is what it's going to look like. It's actually going to look a bit better as well because we're going to. I think we're going to go with the paid one because at the minute this is free. Um, it's but it's double the quality of what it would be. So the 720p is the free one. This is 1080p. How we're broadcasting it, how I'm broadcasting it at the moment. Um, but we're going to get rid of it. So we get rid of this Streamyard um, symbol at the top there. We can put other bits and bobs. But this is going to be the new format. So I hope you guys like it so far. Perry, no idea. Perry Cannon Beam. <laughs> Glass, mate. And then I think we've got, yeah, there's some more engineers in here. These are these still all this? These can't all oh, casualties got casualties as well. Oh, god, I forgot about them. Jeez, yeah, a load of metal casualties, oh, man. Yeah, so these are basically warlord uh, metal casualties. You've got some plastic peri ca per peri casualties in here as well. I need to paint some more of them up. I've got, I think I've got 14 casualties in a minute, but I want to, uh, what's the word? I want to use them like Martin does, Seventh Son. So you actually use the casualty figures as uh, markers. So I'd quite like to do that. But I'd also, because I've got so many, I would probably start sticking these possibly in the battalion lines. And um, what do you guys think? Do you think that's a, you think that's really good, good idea to do it like that? Um, stick them like in the battalion lines. But yeah, guys, that is all the miniatures that I've got for Christmas. Um, and also, I you know, I count Mez as packaged is towards the Christmas stuff as well. Um, just because I got it around Christmas. <laughs> but that's that's a lot, isn't it? That's a bit. It's, I think that's going to keep me going. Um, I'm really excited to do these Avant Post uh, cavalry. But I've got two battalions that are ready to be based now. So two light infantry battalions. I've done done those battalions. Um, done that command base. I've still got enough for another three or four um, battalions to actually be done in great coats. I've got another battalion of battalions on the go at the moment. I'm like French to what you wouldn't believe. Uh, I've got to put this comment. We finally see Steve construct an actual sentence about kind of, do you know what, mate? Do you know what? It's, it, excuse me, it is a very big possibility. We've, we're yet to test it with Steve just because we don't know. Yep, sorry about that. I clicked the wrong button on my mouse. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, okay. I've just muted and unmuted myself. Sorry about that. Two seconds. Let's just eat that again. Right, okay. Happy days. Okay. Managed to bug a sunny up here. Send it with, what's that say? Uh, send it, to Dom. You have it back in a fortnight complete. Yeah, that's very true, Tony Tiger. That is extremely true. Um, why is that not coming up muted now? Add to stream. Okay. Right. Let's just remove that model cam anyway. I'm just going to remove the model cam anyway, guys. Um, just because it's just leave. okay, wicked. Right, just gonna move that out of the way. 
Oh, right, guys. What do you all think anyway? Do you like this new format? Do you think it's quite a cool little thing? Obviously, this hopefully is what the Plastic Crap podcast is going to consist of on a Monday night. So how it's going to work is we'll just rotate the host. So one week I'll be hosting, controlling the chat and seeing what you see on here. Um, obviously, Dom and Martin will also be hosting. Not sure if Steve wants to do it yet, but we'll, we'll have to see. He may want to now if he can actually be seen. But yeah, we're going to also, I think with this software, we can download the video after it's done and then upload it to our individual channels. I'm not too sure if we're going to do that. We're just going to rotate it and put like a uh, plastic crap podcast um, playlist between all our channels and just link you to everyone's channel who's done it that week. But it's been really nice uh, speaking to you guys today and showing off all this. Uh, I hope you guys are doing really well and everything's all good. If you want to ask me anything, now is the time, because I'm going to call the stream probably in the next couple of minutes. So if you've got any questions you want to ask, please feel free to do so. So I'll give you a couple of minutes to do that. Uh, but has anyone got, I will ask this actually, anyone got a better tip? Because obviously I've snapped that off now like twice. Um, and it's really, really annoyed me because I did spend quite a while on these guys. And I really like command bases to be a focal point. But I think that's going to be a real sod to get that back in there. Has anyone got any tips for that? Hopefully you can all hear me still. Try and try and super glue it anyway. Oh, that is one big blob of super glue. That is a very big blob. But I think I'm going to have to try and pin this if it doesn't stay on this time. But hopefully it will. And hopefully it won't be too much of a drama. But yeah, guys, it's been really nice having you here anyway. And um, how many French has Martin got and how many have you got? Oh, Martin's got about 20 battalions worth. But I've got probably about six battalions painted, but I've got a lot that are not painted that are getting painted and I will beat him <laughs> and he knows that I'm coming for him so he's doing like battalions just like the odd thing so when he gets distracted and starts doing um, like uh, War of the Rose and stuff I'm like happy days happy days please carry on doing that because it gives me a chance to catch up but like I said it's my birthday Friday which is even more interesting because I've had hints that I've got even more plastic coming which I think that's going to sort me for quite a while. And I think I've got another bloody uh, army box coming. Oh, my God. I've got too much. But that will be about 30 battalions in total. But my idea is to do a load of French. I want to do four Italian battalions, four Swiss. I want to do some old guard as well, so brigade of old guard. Um, and that's how that's how what I want to do for my French. But, yeah, um, definitely. What's, uh, what's Lee said? A friend replaces broken plastic with steel things. Very painful. <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah, extremely painful, mate. Extremely painful. But sorry, let's just cat again. Cheers, Daisy. Let's crack on. But guys, like I say, lovely having you on here. And uh, I will see you again very soon. But I'm going to say goodbye and take care. Bye-bye, guys.